Okay, welcome everybody back uh, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on um, for a Naya Legends special. As y'all know, this is one of my favorite decks to, to play. Uh, it's probably the deck that I play the most because um, it's it's not only a lot of fun, but it's pretty competitive as well. We, we do really well with it. Um, one of our viewers went back and looked at our 2019 record um, on stream with this deck. Uh, last time, and we determined it was uh, 49 and 19, I believe. I guess now, now I think that I think that's right. I think it was 49 and 19. Could be 39 and 19. No, I think it was 49 and 19. I think. Um, so pretty, you know, pretty solid. Hey, what's up, on Holy Shade? Would I consider doing a a Simic Adapt plus Wilderness Reclamation deck? Nope, not at all. Just don't want to do, don't want to play Wilderness Reclamation at all. Um, so yeah, the the change that we made last time is we've always had Knight of Autumns in the deck, but last time I took out the Knight of Autumns for Cinder Vines to help out the Nexus matchup and also against Control as well because those were decks that I was struggling against more. Um, so I we the last league that we played we didn't actually we did not play against any Nexus. Or control, I don't think. Maybe we played against a control deck, but we didn't we didn't play against any Nexus for the Cinder Vines. But um, I'm still I'm still pretty happy that we have them in there. I just you know Knight of Autumn is better against aggro, but we're already really good against aggro with like our deafening Clarions and our Angels and things like that. So I don't think we really need the the Knight of Autumns as well. So let's get going. <laughs> Disregard meta cast Huatlis. I do like me some Hawatlis. I need to... Maybe I need to make some more Hawatli decks. Maybe I need to make Naya Hawatli. Thanks, Unholy Shade. Don't have it tied particularly well. So Cinder Vines gets to destroy Wilderness Reclamation at instant speed, where Knight of Autumn does not. Um, I know the last time we played with this deck against uh, Nexus, we we had Knight of Autumn in our hand, but our opponent just, like on six mana, played Wilderness Reclamation, um, end step, floated the one untap, cast Nexus, and started going off and just took all the rest of the turns, and we, we never got a turn. Um, man, so, you know, like the sorcery speed in that matchup is kind of tough. And plus the damage that... Cinder Vines does is also better against those uh, control decks and Nexus decks and stuff. Okay, you're going to donate for a Naya Huatli? Okay. Because we could. I would, so, Naya, so we can have the green white Huatli. So, we can have like green white Huatlis and red white Huatlis. Um, just a bunch of Huatles. Shauna. Don't want to draw the second Shauna. Um, do I want a Druidic Vow for two? Probably not. I don't even have two white mana. For Lyra? Maybe I do need to. Man, it's such a waste. It's basically saying, look at the top two cards. If any are lands, put them into play. That's just not a very good card, but maybe we need that to get to Lyra. Next turn. We're, we're kind of dead. Diva Sanity is awesome against us. We have so many great cards. Uh, they're just hitting their land drops. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, they're going to just probably have, like, whatever removal spell for Lyra whenever they play her anyway. You know, they'll have, like, their hostage taker or whatever. So might as well try to save the Val and try to do something big with the Val later. Alright, well, Val gone. Shows how little they care about Lyra.
Steve Sandy can steal games, and this is so it looks like it's doing. I regret. I kind of regret, like you know, when we mulliganed, we scryed this Grand Warlord Rada to the bottom, and I kind of regret that Rada would have been a, a really good card to to play there. But you know, I didn't know that we would just draw, you know, like a, a land and a Shauna. Like at the time, we only had two lands anyway. I think it was a fine scry to the bottom at the time, but... Hey, Russ is supporting with Quib. Let's get some hype for Russ. Welcome to Quib. Hope you enjoy the uh, the toothbrush that's on it. It's been my favorite toothbrush, honestly, that I've ever had in my life. I haven't, you know, I haven't had like a, a super fancy toothbrush ever, but this one's been been the best by a, by a long way, so... Yeah, and Russ, so if you would like a donation deck as, as well, just let me know. And, um, you know, you can have that for another day as well. But either way, make sure you, hope you enjoy your, your toothbrush. And the toothpaste and everything. How's our opponent not doing anything over there? Have they been just clearing out all lands for us? They have gotten land, land, and a random card, and then land, land, and a random card. So maybe those random cards are also lands? It's a good chance one of them is, at least. Okay, dragons. Um, anything in particular with your dragon deck that you want? Uh, any different colors? Like, do you want Grixis dragons? Uh, mono red dragons, as somebody was saying. I think Grixis dragons is probably the best dragons deck. And then... Uh, why, why aren't you taking the Tristani opponent? Yeah, I think Grixis dragons is the best. Cool. Um, any any time? Any particular time you want me to play it? Uh, you know, won't be today, of course. Uh, we got we got the fill we got it filled up for today. You know, it's a and I have to make the deck also. Um, but you know, could do tomorrow or. Around this time, 4 p.m. Eastern or so. Okay. All right, so we'll do like tomorrow around 4 p.m. Got some dragons. All right, so I'll have you up second then. Cause so I stream from three to 10. Do you want like with three o'clock work? Like, I could e I could lead off with your deck at three tomorrow, um, or I can play at second, which would be like probably around four thirty to five. Yeah, Thieves Sandy stealing the game. Hostage Taker obviously pretty good too. Okay, cool. Second. All right, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna lead with uh, lean tomorrow then with with Jax. Mardu Exile deck tomorrow. That's going to be a cool deck. This is my favorite deck from the current standard right here. This one that we're playing right now. Oh man, top deck Val would, would have been nice. I, yeah, I'm interested in updating Esper Angels for sure. I was looking at that even, like, this morning. Um, trying to update that. Like, look, looking into updating that.
Well, good thing the good thing I messed up the order, I guess, as like clicking other things. I messed up the order, so I actually killed the killed the other hostage taker. Yeah, we need Kamal's Druidic Vow, and for five, and it needs to hit a Lyra, a Shalai to protect our Lyra, a Vivian Reed to kill their Lyra, um, a Huatli to kill their Thief of Sanity, and oh, maybe hit a Tristani actually to get just get my Lyra back. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just take those five, please. So I'll just take. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take a, a vow into those five cards, please. Stomping ground. That's that's not it. All right, let's go. Blast, coil, clarion. Carney tees. Maybe I don't need these blasts. I don't know. Blast is pretty good, but blast would get rid of my Carney tee. This is pretty tough to sideboard against. Just a bunch of. Thief of Sandies and Hostage Takers. Hmm. Shauna almost got the job done. I know Lyra flies, but I kind of want to take out Lyra. Because it's the card that, like, it's if they hostage take her, it's really difficult for me to get through. I kind of want to take out Lyra. Like, I can, I can kind of fight through, like, all the rest of the cards. All right, we're going to we're going with no clarions. Um and getting the weather light back. I'll take this one. Amara into Tajik. Yeah, I I've had Immolating Inferno before in here. Hey. Um, used to have, you know, like more legendary sorceries, you know, like a, a third vow and an, and an immolating inferno and stuff like that. And kind of end up trimming those cards because they do, the legendary sorceries do have like a really big downside. You know, if you can't, can't cast them, they're, you know, they're just dead cards. Um, yeah, Mar into Thought Erasure. Yeah, that's our, that's the real curve. Oh, I didn't update the quip. So, so with Russ sign up for quip there. That's sub number or that's a quip. Uh, goal number six. Using the referral link. So four more of those, and we'll be doing another twelve-hour stream. So lots of reasons to sign up for quip. You get you get a donation deck, like how Russ is saying, let's play some dragons tomorrow, and you get a sweet toothbrush. Um, you know, a dentist approved, really nice electric toothbrush and a free refill on your, uh, toothpaste and brush head in three months and work towards another 12 hour stream. Yeah, you called it.
Amara into Thought Rager. <laughs> you don't get the cat. Don't get the little Hawkeye. So the good thing about them taking Tajik instead of Lannery Storm is that Lannery Storm makes these treasures, which is awesome for Val. I don't like Rhythm of the Wild. Um, Rhythm of the Wild's been... Like, I, I tried it whenever RNA came out, and it was just really disappointing. Um, I just don't, don't like it too much as a card. Like, I thought I was going to really like it against Esper Control, and they would just, like, mortify it and stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't like it. Um, yeah, like late game, you just draw Rhythm of the Wild, and it's just like, what am I doing? Um, you obviously can't. You can't really play it with Blast, of course, because you don't don't want to exile your your own um, Rhythm of the Wild. It's not worth it. Uh, Domri though, Domri's good. Domri's kind of good. Um. You, I think you need. I think you want like around like thirty creatures or so for Domri. Like you really want Domri's. Um... <laughs> Cast down against my deck. You really want Domri's uh, minus ability to be able to reliably hit creatures. All right, I know this is only four, but I'm just going to do it right now before uh, my Vivian. Before they thought Erasure it away. Um, Cast Down is a really popular removal spell these days, which is a really good... Uh, um, which is a really plus for our deck. Uh, that's just really common for opponents to have cast downs, and the cast downs not do anything. Okay, we got got the game three. I mean, we had a good hand on the play there, uh, two drop into three drop. We'll see if, um, you know, this time we can can get this this third game. Neither of these two games have been too particularly close. I guess the first one was kind of close. Um, you know, our opponent's blue black deck is is the kind of deck that. Either get steamrolled or Thief of Sanity just steamrolls the opponent kind of thing. Their deck doesn't really um, go towards having uh, quick games. Naya Angels with Domri and Vivian. Not so Domri's better than a Johnny. If you go Domri, if you go Domri and Vivian with Naya Angels, I think you're going. I don't really know what else you're doing with Red, but I think you're probably going Branchwalker, Jade Light, and that kind of stuff. All right, pretty decent hands. Got our mana set up. Got a removal spell for a Thief of Sanity. A two drop. We'll take it. It's not necessarily the best to have... Like, I don't have a whole lot of removal spells for Thief of Sanity, right? So it's not necessarily the best just to have that in your opening hand because of Thought Erasure. It's kind of the thing that you, you really want to just, like, 
keep it right on top of your library and top deck it uh, after the Thief of Sanity comes down. But with that being said, we do have... Um, we have some flyers that can block a Thief as well. I should be getting the Golgari Graveyard deck ready to go on YouTube. It's almost processed and ready to go. I'd feel pretty silly if I just coil that Lazav and then they play a Thief of Sanity. That'd be pretty silly. Our opponent does like saying good game early. What you looking at, Hawkeye? Attack! Yeah, they just bounce off each other, but we get a 1-1. A one, one. I'm not sure if, like, Shalai or Aurelia is, like, a better card to play next turn. The problem with Aurelia pumping up Shalai is Aurelia gives Shalai... Or, sorry, Amara. The, re the problem with Aurelia pumping up Amara is Aurelia uh, gives Amara Vigilance. So then you don't get the... Um, You don't get the token. Shana. Let's go with the Shalai, though. Um, I guess there's a white card right there, Seraph of the Scales. Yeah, I honestly don't know why our opponent said good game earlier, but oh well. What are they doing over there? They holding up counter magic? I mean, I can't just be sitting here activating Shalai if I want. Or I can double spell with the angels. Uh, so they they want to just like instant speed, turn their Lazav into a Seraph, and they can give a Death Touch also, even if I pump Shalai up to be bigger than Seraph. Uh, 
So let's let's go ahead and double spell. I'm surprised they didn't just do that though. Like they didn't use that man on anything else. Why not just turn Lazav into a Seraph? Maybe they thought that I wouldn't recognize it for later. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. Crackling Drake. But that's a win for Nia Legends on the board. Starting off with a win. 1 0. PG. This Paul George. Parental guidance. Man, our deck is crazy. Let's think about this deck. You, you see a whole lot of different hands. Hey, after Wizard Stream's going pretty, pretty good. We are um, five hours and ten minutes into our 12 hour stream. We got almost seven hours to go here. Ooh. Opponents playing Golgari Graveyard. We just got done playing that deck. All right, let's get some lands. We need we need a red source for this squee. Awesome. After wizard in the house. Hmm. We've been having a whole lot of mana troubles today, just in, in our decks, just in general. It's been that that kind of day. You know, we're a 26 land deck. We went to six. Kept two land on the draw. Scried. And still didn't get there by turn three. So we saw four cards, none of them lands in our 26 land deck. Okay, the, the London Mulligan rule is not, it's not something that's like in effect at all right now. Um, it's only gonna be played at, at the Magic Fest London in, in April. Uh, but what it is, to explain what it is, um, So block that thing. So basically, um, you know, you look at your seven card hand. If you don't like it, you mulligan. Just you know, just like now. Right now, you would draw six cards for your second hand. The London Mulligan rule says you draw seven again, so you you get to look at seven again. If you want to keep that seven, you take one of the seven cards you of your leave. choice. Before and put I it at the bottom of your library so that you still start with a six card hand uh, but you get rid of the the worst of your the worst of your uh, cards um And then I don't think there's any scrying after that. I think you just you just keep like that six, I think. I don't know if there's any scrying after that, actually, now that I think about it. Huh. Well, that stings. 
No scry? Okay, yeah. Yep, you put back... Yeah, and so they go to the bottom of the library. How many you mulliganed? The slow death. Alive or alive? All right, they found. Um, found a Molder Hulk to the graveyard. They get to Folly back now. Before they had just been milling over tons of lands. We just can't get to 5 mana. Urza's Ruinous Blast is so good in this matchup. But we're just not getting to 5 mana. gonna go no blocks um you know keep squee around at the very least everyone is expendable um Of course, our, our opponent does have the, the Vraska in play, though, that, that uh, Rose's Ruinous Blast would not exile. Being ruthless as it rewards. All right, can we, can we draw this land? Land? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, DYL, I don't know. So Izoni gets to sacrifice one thing. So yeah, they sack the Molder Hulk so it doesn't get exiled. Now exile all those things, and we get to attack this Frasca. Oh, Izoni's legendary too. That's annoying. I could see our opponent chump blocking here and because I don't want them to ultimate Braska. Chump blocking also, you know, resets you their Izoni. That. that border though, it's kinda hard to recognize, you know, like you know, it's a lot easier to, to recognize this these legendary borders. That one's kinda a little hard to recognize. I missed it at first. Um if I attack with both, and then they use a removal spell on my Rada, I am, you know, if I attack with both, they they just block the Squee, Squee dies, and then if they use a removal spell on the Rada, I don't get to blast, which I may really need to blast if they just go with a bunch of Molder, you know, if they just chain off Molder Hulks uh, with these Follies. I may need to blast again. The Izoni, Izoni is, um, 
certainly a problem for like you know the sacrifice effect so they don't get exiled I, I need them exiled so the that molder hole costs three they get another hulk it'll cost four so play play a land and then play the hulk please land hulk So this blast only exiles the Hulk and the Gutter Bones. Everyone is expendable. Oh, maybe they already played a land. I was like petting Hawkeye and talking and stuff, and I didn't I didn't notice they already played a land or not. I know I just said your name, and now you you jumped up. Hey. Can I? I think I need a vow for five. Not the not the best vow, but all right, Karn. What do I want you to do? Do I need to make a token? Like, do I need to make a token to jump block? Probably. Yeah, I probably do. I'm having Golgari Queen there. We gotta stay alive. These legendary cards, Izoni and Vraska, in our opponent's deck has been really annoying for us. Yeah, making making like a Naya deck with the explore package and stuff, it's it's so hard because it's just it's just your deck is just a lot worse. You know, you're just playing like a worse version of Soul Tie kind of thing. Down to four. Um, play your Molder Hulk. No, they can't play it. Can they? Four, eight. Now they need one more mana. They can sack their Gutter Bones to the Golgari Queen and then play this other Molder Hulk. Hey, I like that card. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Yeah, I think, yeah, Karn had the voice before, or, oh, before Arena. Huh. The choices we make reveal who we are. That's a little annoying. I wanted to get a land. Yeah. I thought you were saying, like, before Ravnica Allegiance. Um. I 
If I blast, I cannot... If I blast, I can't Aurelia. I guess I can Squee, though. Yeah, we'll just Squee. I'm waiting till after I blast for Tristani. Uh, so like the tokens don't get exiled and stuff like that. Oh, good hit. Well, don't let it go to your head. Right, we have a Huali over here. <sighs> yeah, we're we're still not in a very good spot, um, but. You know, we're we're in the game right now, at least. The problem is we don't have any more Urza's Ruinous Blasts. So, Molder Hulk Chains, we can't stop them now. Hoping to exile with two Ruinous Blasts, really hoping to exile more than one Molder Hulk. So we got a couple of Gutter Bones, I suppose. Just how far behind we were. And is useful sometimes. All right, do I want to play Aurelia and Tristani or Huatli and Tristani? I guess I could go Huali and Aurelia, but I think I want to play Tristani. Yeah, Huali can kill Priest, but they just they sack their Priest. Is it worth it to kill Priest? Or should I just make... I mean, you can't deal damage to Planeswalkers, right? Yeah, it's just creatures. Probably worth it to kill Priest. Well, they can sacrifice Priest with Izoni. Izoni's ability gets to sacrifice it. And they, like, they, they would sacrifice it, gain a life, and draw a card. Over. Um. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do that. I guess if I would have made a dinosaur, Shauna would be a seven seven. Now Shauna's gonna be a six six. And attacking, trading Shauna for Molder Hulk is not a good trade. He's got no attacks. I can I can take up Huatli and gain six life. Next turn, uh, nine. If I play like Aurelia. Make this a 7-7, seven, seven, give it plus 2, plus 0, and then I can take up and gain 9 life. We're still, we're not ahead. I don't think. I don't know, it kind of depends on what they have for their cards in hand. Nah, that's my 
Tristani. Yeah, like these these follies and everything, like they They just have like never ending creatures. And good value creatures and they're never gonna end. As we win, nothing else matters. I think the most likely way we win is decking them, maybe? Maybe that's the most likely. Maybe not. Maybe we can attack in the air. Have we gone through... A curious choice. Have we gone through both vows yet? Gone through one vow. Change me... Alright, so should I make a dinosaur or gain seven life? Probably need to gain seven life, right? Dino gamble with the life. It's kind of a tough call. Oh, don't want to click the end turn button. Um, we do have Squee to block. The other thing is, is if our if our opponent gets. See, the thing is, if our opponent gets, like, Priest back, we'll have, like, the more loyalty on Huatli. Hmm. Go I'm going Dino. And feast on their flesh. I guess technically it could be, be just more life if I just wait till next turn. Seven cards in hand. No! Uh, needed to gain the life. They had Lotlith Giant. Uh. I was not expecting Lotlith Giant at all. So we'll get Coil and Blast in. I'm not sure what I want to take out. Maybe Tajik. I guess they are. Maybe I need to be Clarioning also. Them playing Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Nah, we got the coils. That's good enough. Um, my three drops with like Lannery Storm Tajik don't don't uh, block too well. Yeah, we could Spyglass Priest or Vraska. I mean, I, I would Spyglass Vraska, but it's I mean the Vraska is probably like a one of right. Like it's not likely they just have another Vraska. Because if I if I name anything else besides Vraska, a Vraska would just kill the Spyglass. I don't think they'll have any other disenchant effects. But that's not a card I want to play though when I'm playing Blast in this matchup. Yeah. 
I just had to cut some stuff. I cut a Shauna. Actually, probably Amara is probably a better cut than Shauna. I should cut Amara instead. But I just took out one of those, took out a Tajik and a Lannery Storm. This will do. Izoni is not a mana ability. It would work on, on Izoni. Mana ability is... This is a mana ability. Something that adds mana. Not something that costs mana. It's... It is a confusing card. So, yeah. Mana ability is like land wear off. Tap, add add mana. Uh, stomping ground has a man... Like, these are mana abilities. Like, the stomping ground has. You can add a red or add a green. Um... These are mana abilities. Okay. That was a bad sneeze. What? They took Shalai? Because they're scared of the flyer, I suppose? What if I just play Weatherlight this turn? I mean, I know I can have Tristani right now. Weatherlight may be better just to have on the battlefield, honestly. I can't undo? Why can't I undo that? Oh, because the Captain Lannery Storm trigger. That's why. Because Weatherlight, we get to crew next turn and like start attacking next turn with this 5 power flyer. Um, I think it's actually better to have the Weatherlight down right now. Kind of wasted that treasure. If you go to your collection, it should show you your wild cards. Um, so like, go to like the screen that says decks, and like, then in that, in the bottom left-hand corner of that screen, there's a collection button. Yeah, or or do what the other people are saying in the in the chat. Yeah, crew is a is a weird mechanic. Uh, that was from last block. Don't really see it too much in standard right now. Yeah, see, I'm glad we wait. I'm glad we played the weatherlight first. So weatherlight's not a creature unless I. Um, spend, unless I have three power worth of creatures, crew it. So the Landry Storm is three, three power. I'll have the Landry Storm crew the Weatherlight, turn it into a creature. Now it's a five, six flyer that gets to hit them. And we can take any historic card from our top five. So we can take one of these Planeswalkers or this Lyra. Um, those are all good options. So I'll take this Lyra. Vote Lyra. Cool. So I wasted a tre treasure earlier. Could have two treasures right now. That would have been a, a really good five card Druidic Vow. You know, Karn, Vivian, and Lyra. All right, so I'll let the supplier die. I guess they they probably have like what like I Izoni, maybe, but they don't they don't have enough mana for Izoni. Good, get that drill bit out of here.
Yep, if you want to block with it, you do. Yeah, it's, it's not a creature unless you crew it. Could Val for five, but I think I'll just play the Lyra. Play Lyra and Amara. So Amara with Weatherlight is really cool. Uh, you know, we get to we get to tap Amara basically whenever we want to crew the Weatherlight uh, and make a so we get to make like a two two life linker, uh, just kind of like out of nowhere. Uh, the opponent's other card that we didn't know about was a Chupacabra. So down goes Lyra, unfortunately. If they attack with both, I guess I triple block a Molder Hulk. With three two two life linkers. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, I guess they are only at eight, aren't they? Uh, if they just attack with like their things, they may be dead. Yeah, we can crew this turn. Yeah, we get to make a three th a two two. All right, so. If we if we just chomp you know cuz we're at 12 we have to block something. If we just block there, then they have three blockers. They would get to block like Lannery Storm, Amara, and an Elf. Oh, but then I have to crew. I guess if I if I use Amara to crew. No, I don't really have enough to kill them. I'm going to I'm going to just triple block and get one of these Molder Hulks off the battlefield. Hmm. Well, that would that this would have done it. Um I think it still does it, right? Yeah, this this just does it. Your name will be lost to history. Good job, Puali. We'll just deal damage to these things. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. Yeah, I agree. Wally. The more I conquer, the sweeter the victory. Bum, bum, bum. Doing good, Zerf. We are powering through 12 hour stream. If you're, if you're not very familiar with Watley, <coughs> Watley says the, the creatures can't block, so none of those creatures could block. Um, Watley finishes it out. So I want other Shauna over Amara. Don Robo with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Don Robo. Welcome to the channel. The problem with Clarion... I think the only reason why I want Clarion is because of Priest of the Forgotten Gods. But the problem with Clarion is, like, their creatures are just as good if they're dead or alive kind of thing. And I think Clarion, you know, does hurt me as well. I think it's got to be, like, real good for me to bring it in. And it's just not very good here. Yeah, Clarion plus Tajik's nice. 
So only kill the Tajik. Hands could certainly be better. I was considering doing just entrance tapped, but I'll just play a card. Main decking four honor guards against your black white battlement deck? No. You killed three with mortifies, and they still got a fourth. Sorry, JGR, JR, uh, sorry, JGR. That's that's a rough one for sure. These gutta bones are killing me. <clears throat> um. Do I just Val for two? Or go to five? Guess I'm going to five. Really hope they don't have drill bit. We saw them have multiple drill bits last game. Sweet, only going to eight. Cool. Cool. Those are not drill bits. And we blast. Hooray. Sorry, Land War Elf. You out of here. Time to blast off. And they're all exiled. Can't get him back with fine finalities or whatever. It doesn't make Mulder Hulk cheaper. Eh, I'm not so concerned about a 1-1. Let's have Vivian uh, start getting as much card advantage. I didn't, no one knows the wilds like I do. Um, do I want the land? Land or Captain Lannery Storm? Take the Lannery Storm. Yeah. Take the Captain. All right, Cap. So, like, the reason why I kind of want land is because of Val. You know, like, I, I, I want to just keep hitting land drops for Val. I don't want to have a turn where I, I'm not hitting a land drop. And so that's why I was thinking, like, next turn I could just play, like, land and Aurelia... Um, and not really need the cap. So they have three creatures in the yard right now. But I guess just playing Aurelia does let them just go, go grab Harpooner and Harpooner kill Aurelia. All right, well now I'm priced into getting a land for this I've Vivian. Seen things that would break but then there's Tristani. Like yeah, that's why I should have got the land the first time, because then we got to find something better. Hmm. I guess I could just take Tristani and play it. That's not a land. Bleh. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Let them make their Molder Hulk cheaper. It's probably not a good idea. Hey, they have a journey to eternity. Yeah, they can't handle the Vivian ult.
All right, 2-0. Oh. I let him do it well. Hey, Aqua Teen, Hunger Force, getting that resub in three months now. Thank you so much, Aqua Teen, Hunger Force. Love your show. That's number 10 on the day, so we'll be cracking a pack open after this match. Unfortunately, got that in just a little too late. I was already starting the match. Um, there. But yeah, thank you so much, Aqua Teen. Hope you're enjoying the, the stream and having a, a wonderful Wednesday. Looks like Teamer Reclamation, which is not really a deck I want to be facing. Um, it is possible that Blast exiles some Reclamations, and it's awesome. It's possible. Not necessarily likely, but possible. Oh, I was still making the Golgari Graveyard. Need to finish making this thing for the for the YouTube channel. Sorry. All right, there we go. Hey, I have a tough choice whether or not to attack. All right, we're attacking. I guess this will work. I wonder if playing Karn's better. All done. Sorry about that. Hey, Dr. Grindel. Um, yeah, you just don't... Yeah, you just kind of... You do struggle against enchantments. You just... <clears throat> try to make them discard their enchantments before you play any of your stuff. You know, if they're playing, like, Ixalan's Bindings and that kind of stuff. Please don't have any good payoff here right now. Please let us just exile these two wilderness reclamations and not, you know, kill us. It seems like they have a payoff. Looks like explosion for seven. Pretty fair. Turn five, draw seven cards, and deal seven damage. I don't see anything wrong with that. Nope. Can't think of anything possibly wrong with that. 
are good choice. Probably has a pretty difficult turn, I guess. Okay. Um... So we need the Cinder Vines. Niv Mizzet's also just a problem, though. Um, I basically just have Vivian as like the only thing that can kill Niv Mizzet. Um, Blast is good against Wilderness Reclamation, but that's just not. It's not very likely that that actually works. I'm just gonna take the Blast out. Karn's pretty slow. Right, that's what I said, is Vivian is my only thing to kill Niv-Mizzet. That's what I just said. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing. I guess I'll play another, uh, another Shalai and Lyra. Yeah, I mean, our opponent's not even playing Nexus. Wilderness is a, is a much worse card than Nexus of Fate, in my opinion. Well, that's, you know, other people have different opinions, but I think Reclamation's a whole lot worse. All right, hopefully these cinder vines are good. Yep, got to draw these lands. Um, really want to, you know, get to Vivian, but we are a 26 land deck, so... We still have a whole lot of lands in here. Uh, if you unmoor ego against Nexus, you, you probably should be naming Wilderness Reclamation. If they don't have a Wilderness Reclamation in play, that's that's what I basically always name is Wilderness Reclamation against those decks. Home of the host on July. How can you lose? That's a good question. Maybe you can't. Maybe it's just not possible. Lands. Gray. More land, more land, more land. Hey, Yud. Yeah, 12 hour stream's going real good. Yeah, we're playing Nia Legends. No. Deck. Didn't get there.
don't think I've ever seen them have like wilderness reclamation be at the bottom of their libraries. Hey, good job, Rockburn. Yeah, black is certainly another option for the deck. Um, I'm kind of worried about like the the early plays with black, but you do get you do get Kaya and I don't know. I I like you know I, I really do like Planary Storm and Tajik um, quite a bit. I do hate treasures though in this game. I do hate how you have to click OK because it it just the game thinks that you may want to like sacrifice your treasure all the time, so you do have to click OK to every single little thing. Oh, you play eight reclamations in your list? There you go, that makes sense. Hey Nerd Girl. Hope you had a good stream last night. We are currently getting destroyed by wilderness reclamation, so our life is very sad. Might be my least favorite card that's ever been printed in Standard. Since I've been playing Standard. I don't know. Will I mean, Aetherworks Marvel was rough too, but... Oh, I guess I, I really didn't like the uh, Shalai Felidar Guardian combo. And Aetherworks Marvel, all that stuff is just real lame. Oh, your OBS died after Variety Hour? unfortunate. Alright, we're two and one. We had a Cinder Vines, but they had an answer to it. Had an answer to Cinder Vines and a Wilderness Reclamation and another Wilderness Reclamation and Explosion to draw 20 cards. Okay, that's that's what happens. I got gotcha. you. Well, that's too bad. Um. Yeah, I've been waiting for another bounty to come up. I've done four bounties so far. Uh, I haven't gotten an, a new bounty available in a long time. Uh, Friday. Last Friday was the last time a bounty showed up. Whoa, Zerf is gifting out some subs. Santa Zerf. Thanks, Zerf. So, congratulations to Asgard Brasilia. BPD, Buratello, Jakarov, and Chiz. I don't know. Chize, Pones. Names are difficult. Um. Congratulations to all you. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're using your emails. Hope you're enjoying them. Names are difficult. All right, so we gotta be cracking a pack open after this. Oh, I think I. I don't think I cracked open a pack in the ten subs anyway. See, I don't know how to pronounce that. Chai's pones. Yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. 
Deck's not helping out too much. Come on, Deck. We just had some sub luck from... From Zerf gifting out those subs. Where's our Kamal's Juridic Vows? Or... Urza's Ruinous Blast. I'll take either of those. Four cards I'll take. Alright, I'll take a Karn. Karn can help us find those cards. Swapped in two Multanis. Um, Until you have lived as a statue, you well chosen. Helps with the flyers in the metagame. Oh, Multanis are just so expensive. What was that thing? Galta, unfortunately, is legendary. I don't really want to kill one of their Please creatures and let this Kral Harpooner kill my Aurelia. How convenient. An excellent choice. I don't mind taking up uh, Karn again, even though Karn's going to die the next turn. Um... Because I have another Karn that can uh, go get the card if, you know, we really need to find... Wait. Oh, I, I clicked the go through attackers, I guess. Dang, I meant to attack. Obviously, I meant to attack there. Really need to find Urza's Ruinous Blast or Kamal's Juridic Vow, but especially the the Blast. Really need to find that card. Twelve, thirteen, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So we go to four because we gain a life. I mean, I guess I probably can't. I probably just cannot even survive if I don't if I don't draw. You know, like Lyra can help. Are you certain of your decision? Uh, we don't really have answers to Galta. I mean, we just have to gain enough life to race it and stuff and race it in the air. Alright, let's get another Blast. Another Lyra. They were just mono green, right? Do I want Clarions? I could see playing Clarions.
Hmm. Rada and Squee are definitely coming out. This curve is so high. We'll take out Huatli and one Vivian. And a Tajik. So if we play Clarions, we have to play Clarions kind of over these things. I, I think I want these fours and fives in. I'm not going to play the Clarions. You just get some... You know, Clarion's good against the... Uh, that five mana card they had that let him go wide with the Sapperlings, but... Um, you know, it's not necessarily that... You know, it's definitely not good against Galta. It's not necessarily very good against... Um, the two mana card that turns into four fours. It's not good against Wild Growth Walker, necessarily. champion. Does that make sense for Mono Green? Can we just find Urza's Ruinous Blast, please? Please, deck. I need to like attack with this weather light to like dig for blast, but I also need to block with it. We're like really dead. Uh, Lyra, please. Lyra. Uh, Galta's just too big. Card is way too big for us. Yeah, yeah, if you crew Weatherlight, you can blast. Because, yeah, the Weatherlight is a legendary creature whenever it's a creature. They just attack with everything, I'm dead. I'm still dead if they attack with everything. I don't think the person playing the big green creatures are not playing their creatures. They're not uh, playing them with the plan of not attacking. So, Galta is too big for us. Just that is that's a card that's going to match up really well against me. 
Um, you know, they have Galta on turn four. I'm not beating it. Um, you know, kind of, kind of, oh, well, uh, just like my only chance to beat it is Lyra. Um, so I guess, I guess I have a chance to beat it with Lyra, but, um, yeah, didn't get it done. So picked up a couple losses there. Uh, that's kind of been our day. Um, but you know. That's all right. Uh, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.